Okay, so this is going to be the last sort of the chapter. It's called Quick Sort. Uh, quick Sort also uses a divide and conquer, so it has the same advantage as Merge Sort. Uh, we're going to see at the end of this chapter that it's, it is log uh, n log n. Uh, so what the way it works is you pick a value, uh, not a place in the list, but an actual value, and that's called the pivot value. And there's different ways of choosing a pivot. Uh, what they do in this chapter, they just choose the first item in the list. Uh, the role of the pivot is to assist in splitting the list into two parts. So to understand how this works, we actually have to work through it. So we're going to pick the very first item, the 53. Now the idea is that we're going to split the list so that the first half of the list when we're done, uh, up to 54, will all be to the left of 54. So it's all going to be it's all going to be in the side of the final list that it's supposed to go in. And then there will be the value 54, and then to the right of the 54 will be all the numbers that are greater than 54, and they're all going to be on the side of the list they're going to go in. Uh, so the way we do this is we pick 54, and we use a, uh, um, a um, index to start on the left side, and an index to start point to the right side. So we're pointing to the two ends of the remaining list. And we're going to start moving the left mark in this direction and the right mark in this direction as follows. So what we want to see is we want to see what is out of order. So everything in the left mark that we we want, everything in this left of the list, we want to be less than 55. And everything to the right mark, we want to be greater than 55. So what we do, looks look, we look at 26, we see that's less than 54. That's okay, so we move the left mark. Uh, and then we look at the right mark, and we see it's, uh, it's less than 54, so it's in the wrong place. So we swap, uh, we, we actually advance the left mark till this is out of place, and we advance the right mark till we find one out of place, and we swap those two. So basically we have the left mark, is going to look for the first number that's that's um, greater than 54 being out of place and the right mark is going to be advancing looking at the first number that's less than 54 meaning it's out of place so we're going to be pointing to two things that are out of place and so we swap the two as we do here and then we continue looking and we find the next two that are out of place and we swap them and finally the left and right mark will pass each other by one and once they've done that, uh, the left mark will be pointing to the, the first item in the left new left list, and the right mark the first item in the new right list. And so now uh, we know that we can put 54 uh, in place. So we exchange the 54 for the 31. So the 31 is the list on the left. So we can move it to anywhere in the list on the left, it's still going to be less than 54. So we just exchange the 54 for 31. And now it turns out our final list looks like this. We have all these numbers less than 54, and we have all these numbers greater than 54, and the 54 app happens to be in the final place in our sorted list. So now we have a smaller problem, and we just do quick sort on the two smaller problems, the left side and the right side. And that's it. Uh, there's a bit of work here. There's a quick sort function and there's a quick sort helper. The helper begins with the same base case as the merge sort. Uh, the length of the list is, if, if the length of the list is less than or equal to one, it's already sorted. If it's greater, uh, then it can be partitioned and recursively sorted. So this is, uh, we haven't done this in recursion, but many times in recursion you have a main method that then calls a helper method to actually do the recursion. So in this case the main method calls the helper method with pointers to the beginning and the end of the list. So that's indicating where in this list we want to sort. And that allows us not to pass copies to in the recursion by doing this. So this helper method has a list and it, it but it's actually sorting first to last inclusive. And so if first is less than last, it partitions it. So it has a special method to partition it. And then it just calls quicksort helper on the two smaller list. 
Uh, the partition is what does the work of moving that split point. Uh, so we have the first and last. It gets a pivot value as the first. Now, uh, this particular is not necessarily the best choice of pivot. It will explain that you can choose the pivot different ways. Uh, it's 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 been shown recently that the most uh, f the fastest pivot you can take is uh, pick a random number between first and last inclusive, and then pick a random uh, one of those. So you you would make instead of the first you would choose a random uh, element from the list you're sorting and make that the pivot value. If you do that, you're guaranteed um, in log n always. So this is the work we have to do. Uh, so while we're not done, it's going to look, it's going to advance the left mark until it finds something out of place. And it's going to, so that's the first uh, loop. The second loop is going to move the right mark until it finds one out of place. And it ends early if it finds that they've crossed each other. Uh, so that's what this is testing for once they've, uh, these two loops are done. And then Otherwise, it swaps the uh, left and right mark values, and then it goes back and while not done. When it's all done, it swaps the uh, the first value that just crossed with the uh, original pivot. So that's what this code does. And then it finally returns the right mark, which is going to be um, where it split the list. And so we'll see it work here. So let's initialize it and run it. So uh, let me run it again. Now the, the first thing you're gonna see, it's gonna make two sets, a smaller list, a, a list of smaller values and a list of bigger values. So everything in the left side will be smaller than everything on the right side. So we'll see that work there. You can see this kind of smaller and there's larger over there. And then it starts. Uh, so that's quick sort. And they talk about another way of, of, of getting a pivot is you take the median of three, consider the first, the middle, and the last element of the list. But as we mentioned, uh, if you take a random pick of the list that you're doing, uh, you actually get very good performance. And that's a more modern way of doing uh, quick sort.